here we are once again. It's uh, what, January, <laughs> January 4th? It's been a long winter for heavy hands so far. Been lying in bed for about a month. But uh, here we are again. Um, so here's the raven that I did with the projector. I got to do a few things before I start carving. Um, I got to cut this bottom. When I did this on the projector, this is yesterday's video. I realized actually this was supposed to be the bottom and not supposed to be the top. Um, so I got to cut it straight. I got to put this slab in the chair and I got to cut it so it's like this. So it's like that at the top. So how about I get that stuff done first? Then we'll talk about cutting this uh, Raven. I'm going to use my battery saw. My new one Chris got me. Um, yeah, so it's not that cold right now. So uh, I thought I'd have to fill up another propane for the heater, but I guess not. So how about I get this stuff done? Let's show you this Raven. It kind of looks like an eagle. I could have made the beak bigger. Doesn't matter. It's for myself. Like I said from the very beginning. Uh, okay, so here's the chair. If you haven't seen the other videos, there's a chair right here. See the two posts? This goes in the back. This is a rocking chair I got for free on Marketplace. I don't want to spend too much time on it, but I want it to look neat for my front yard. Anyways, carry on. All right, so I cleaned up the shop a little bit. Lots of sawdust I got to get rid of. That's just like a wheelbarrow and a half. Kind of did some raking over there. So here's what we got so far. Okay? It's not perfect. That side's a little bit higher than that side. Don't really care. I can touch it up after if I want. So this is a 2D carving. I want. I don't want to carve too thick. Let me explain here. So I don't want to carve too thick around this raven. The thicker I carve it, the more cleaning up I have to do. I do and, I, and I also don't want it to be too deep, like too much depth in this carving. Because don't forget, this is your backrest for the chair. So you don't want things digging into your back. Okay? So what I'm going to do with the saw is just... And well, like Ryan Cook says, cut true to the line. So we'll pretend this is my saw. This is my bar. My finger's my bar. You don't want to cut it like this. You don't want to cut it like this. You want to cut it perfectly square to that line. And in here, I think I'll probably just, I was going to actually bring my router to router this out. But um, in here, I think I'll just kind of use my Dremel to do in here. I'm having a real problem getting motivated today. You know, it's just, you're, I'm still not 100%. I got to, uh, anyways, let's just, I only want to cut about that deep around the friggin' thing. Cut deeper, not too deep. So it's like kind of like the same thing with a Dremel. You have to cut and remove. Taper, you have to taper away your cut line. So what I mean is... So there's my cut line. Now I need to taper this wood away. If that's the word you want to use or whatever. If you look at it as more like being a painting on the wood with the thing. Oh yeah, I'm using the MSA 70C. This is your new, um, it's a new saw. Carry on.
on camera. So you see I just did that cut line there. No, because I, I want this to have a frame, right? Okay, so you guys can see my point. So how about I get this done? I get it all blocked out, and then uh, we'll do some other stuff. I don't know. <laughs> okay, so you know, my point of being here today is not to quickly carve this and get it done. My point of being here today is to do something that I love to do. Like I said, I like I. This piece doesn't have to be, like, I'm not trying to sell it. It's for myself, so I really don't give two shits if it doesn't turn out too great. Because, well... So, you know, you have to think of this as layers, so... This would be my first layer. Is Mike working? This would be my first layer here, the cabin, then the wing, then the bird, then the background. And the frame would be the same as the cabin. So one, one, two, three, four. That makes sense to you. So instead of me reaching up here and trying to do this cut here, I might as well just move this piece around. And cut it so I'm comfortable cutting it. You know, right in there. It's just about being comfortable, relaxing, and doing what you love, I guess. Okay, let's get this stood back up. Okay. So, now I got all this. I'm going to just take this off the tripod. You see here, you cut deep in there, you cut deep in here. Now you need to remove all this wood, okay? It should be, it should be flat, so it looks like this wasn't even carved in, right? You know what I mean? So if you, you do this cut, you do this cut here, you remove all the wood in there, that makes this pop out. Cutting and removing. 
but I still got to do background in here. Let me give you a better wider view. I still got to be do the background in here. So I figured instead of removing all this wood, why don't I just carve the background in? When I'm carving the background in, it can blend all together. But so it won't seem so bumpy like that. So like this will get pushed down when I'm doing it. I'm going to, I think it is time to actually, I can still cut these uh, wings in. I'm just going to do it like the eagle. I don't know if the raven is, I'm just doing my own art here. So I'm not trying to compare it to anything, if that makes any sense to you. So I think it's time to get the die grinder out, put my mask on. I don't know if I have my, I don't have my friggin' earbuds here. So we'll just kind of carry on it again. <laughs> Hi, Liz. Hi, Amy. All right, so I kind of went ahead and did all this cutting with my chainsaw. You know, I want to say when you're doing the chainsaw carving, excuse me, the more time you got the chainsaw in your hand is, uh, I think it's the better, it's the least dusty um, way to do it kind of deal. So there it's starting to come alive. I did the carving fusion, Japanese wind lines in there and stuff. Um, I should take a bit more time talking about this is the brand new MSA 70C. It's got speed control. It's the battery saw. It takes a 30, the AK30 batteries. This is a Canon 8 inch dime tip bar. If you're in Canada right now, Ryan Cook has some of these bars for sale. Um, you can just Google Ryan Cook. Um, so the 8 inch Canon bar or the Forester bar works too. Um, so that's what I've done and uh, for the battery chainsaws I just use the canola oil cornolia oil um, here's a die grinder I don't think I'm gonna film because I want to crank the music but here's a die grinder that I use David Grass bought me this this is the 800 C this is the more this one's like 450 bucks I think and I'm gonna use the cut saw flame burr on here the silver one the quarter inch right the quarter inch is for your Fordhams and your die grinders, the one eighths are for your Dremels and your micro motors. And I got a Dewalt thing here with this sanding thing I got on Amazon. So I'm gonna put on my dust mask and uh, I'll get this done. I'll get it all carved um, and just try to carry on. I'm trying my best to stay positive and just, sorry I'm not the norm, the usual Jordy right now, but it's just um, getting back to it um, when, whatever. Okay, so I tell you one thing for sure. I'm sweating it out today. Had enough of lying in bed. Poor me, little baby. Uh, I don't know if you guys can see the cabin there. So, um, for the cabin shingles here, I just use that little Dremel 125 bit. Um, I get asked lots of Ryan Cook introduced me to this a little bit. It burns the, but this cedar is so soft. You know, like I said, like I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do the voiceover on the first video tonight, but that's why I decided not to carve the phoenix because I think a phoenix would lead, need lots of detail. And, um, well, this cedar is just not very good for detail. So you can see it's a cabin there. Raven, I still got to carve um, the, the hairs for the, um, for the raven bird and um, clean up some little stuff more I'm gonna put some abalone shell in this eye I think the raven I'm gonna paint it all black this stuff I'll just uh, I don't know just burn it then clean it because this whole chair is gonna be like a I'm not gonna be able to finish this chair till the springtime because I'm gonna see tall this whole chair right because Cetol has a, that Cetol is a finish. Cetol always has a tent to it. So once you Cetol it, you can get your flap sander and sand off the high points like I do um, the Dremel carving. So that way you can get different, they like can get these wings to pop and stuff like that. Like the, you'd sand the high points so it's darker on the inside and lighter on the high points. So I think I'm going to... Uh, Pull out the Dremel now. Let's give you a better view. I think I'm going to pull out the Dremel now. 
scoop out inside this eye so I can do the abalone shell later. Make this uh, sun. This, this thing has a story, right? So that's why you should see the other video because this is based on native stuff, but my own style. Anyways, I'm going to uh, cut in these hairs for the bird. Clean up a little bit more, like things like that. And then um, carry on. Actually turned out to be a pretty nice day. I heard it on the radio. They're calling for some snow. But maybe in a week or so. So it's been a carving fest. I've been working my butt off. So there you can see it's all good enough for me. Actually, I've spent way more time on this piece than I wanted to for the chair, but whatever. As long as you're having fun, that's all that matters. Um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to wood burn deep all in here. It will help smooth, out, smooth it out a bit. Um, then I'll sand the high points. I think with um, this sander, I just got this on... Uh, Amazon, you see the wheel. Hold on, it's got sandpaper in there. Then it's got the Scotch Brite sandpaper, Scotch Brite. So I'll use this. I got a whole set of these um, for super cheap. I'll try and look it up, and I'll leave. I'm gonna start leaving descriptions to my Amazon store on all my videos because I'm getting tired of getting emails saying that they can't find it in my Amazon store. So I'm not getting tired of it. It's just a lot more extra work. So it's just easier for me to um, put the link to, I got like 10 of these for like 15 bucks or something, I think. But I'm gonna do that with this. I'm gonna burn it really deep. I'll burn the shingles just a little bit. Burn it really deep all the way around the Raven. I probably will burn some of the raven just lightly to get rid of some of the fuzzies. Then I got this, um, this, here's another thing on Amazon. Excuse me. This little, um, put it, hook it up to your air compressor, this little spray gun. So I got some, uh, dollar store paint, just some black acrylic paint. I don't have black spray paint here. I probably spray paint it. And I diluted it with water. Make sure there's no chunkies in there. I diluted it with water. And I'll spray the raven black. I'm not going to be able to do the abalone shell today. Um, so, but that's that. So let's kind of do like a car infusion time lapse coming up here. Car infusion time lapse. Ride the waves, everybody. Ride the waves. Okay, so you can see here it's all painted. I like that I thinned it out too because you can kind of see the grain in the um, raven as well. I'm pretty happy with it. I think it looks like a raven. Wait till I get that abalone shell in that uh, eye. Um, this little air gun, little whatever, it's like a paint, whatever, you know the ones that um, stand by, let me think of airbrush. This one doesn't have a needle in it. So you see there, where, see that orange dot? The paint comes right out that nozzle where the orange dot is. And this nozzle pushes air out. So there's no needle to clean. I think this was like 12 or 15 bucks. You know, you have to get the, the hose that this comes with is super. It's not this one. This one I've had for years. Comes with a little shitty plastic one. So I had to buy these, um, adjust like this thing myself. So you guys will have to look that up. I can't tell you the size or anything, but um, you know, so you water, all you do is just put some water in it, spray it out, and it will be clean. I just run my compressor full blast. 
I have an expensive Iwata, um, one, the same one that Ryan got, Ryan Cook has, but um, I'm, I haven't even used it yet. I've had it for like a year and a half, but I haven't really needed it, but I'll, I'll use it sooner or later. This is not an airbrush, okay? This blows, like it does, airbrush does fine little lines. This won't do fine little lines. You can make the lines, you can adjust it by this little thing here or whatever. But um, it's good enough for 15 bucks. What it did, you know, it's way more controlled than spray paint. So I think um, I'm going to do this. I'll probably gold leaf this ball in here. And then abalone the um, eye. But I'm not going to be able to do that on this video. So let's take that paint off. We'll do a grand finale. Well, it's not a grand finale. It's just a grand finale for the back. Okay, when I was putting that one away, I found I have another brand new one. Here it is, brand new. So it's a basic spray gun set. Model number 250-2. Like I said, I'll put the link um, to my Amazon store. You know, like I'm not giving the links to my Amazon store because I do make money if you guys use my store. Not much, trust me. Like if you bought this for $12, I'd probably make um, 25 cents. 50 cents, no, 25 cents, 50 cents, um, just to help you guys get the things that you're looking for. So you can see that little shitty hose that it comes with. It might be good. It screws on there. And then um, you can also use, if you don't have a compressor, you know how they have those compressed cans of air? That's what this lid's for. So if you get the, the can of air, this will... You don't need an extra hose. I just use the extra hose for the compressor, right? So, yeah, maybe you just get the can of compressed air, and that would be the best for you to be able to use this simple cleaner out and color done. Okay, we got a little Jesus light coming down there. Yeah, that's what that is, Jesus light. Anyways, let's get this tape off, see how it looks. I'm wondering if I should see tall it. See tall is by far i think the best stuff for um outdoors it outlasts anything i have used there is a clear sea tall but it's like a hundred bucks for a little can like this well sorry everybody i ran out of uh, space on my phone i had to delete some older videos so there it is i'll show you a close-up after but i pulled out this chair And this is all going to be a series. I got them all set up in a playlist. So here's the chair. Um, just carved. Rob gave me the idea to carve like round trees up here. And then like have the vines come down here and have wood spirits underneath there. So your tree, they put some green on there. The roots coming down a bit. Then a wood spirit with the roots coming over the wood spirit's face on each side. That'd be pretty cool. Um... Maybe that's what I'll do tomorrow. So, yeah, what was I going to say? I don't know. <laughs> let's get this, uh, let's just kind of get this on here a bit, see how it looks. You guys get to see how it looks before I get it. We're not going to get in there. Let's get there a bit. I think actually tomorrow I'm going to be resting. There you go. How does that look? So trees with the roots coming down here. I'll have to take a picture of it. So I can see if that's going to work or not. But I can't ask you guys opinion because I'm going to be carving this before oh well, what do you guys think i don't know i might not be carving it before you guys see it oh yeah now that's right up my alley so here's the thing everyone I didn't carve this, I did not carve this 
just the front of this today. I carved the back too. I carved both sides. I was talking to Larry Dibbs last night. Sometimes I like to ask my friends opinions of things. And uh, hi Larry, over there at Wowsy's workshop. He's got a YouTube channel. Um, I said, this is going to be in my front yard. I don't know if I'm going to put it in the corner or if I'm going to have it in the front of my glass, my sliding glass window. If it's in the front of my sliding glass window, I don't want to have the back just plain. So I carved the back and it's all part of the story. So you have to watch the, uh, what's the story is the vid. I'm going to edit the video tonight. And that's the one with the, um, actually I'll leave a link to the story down below it's all to do with native stuff but that's why i call it carving fusion fusion is if i want to carve look you got you got a geordie raven in there you got a cabin and you got the the the, the sun this is supposed to represent the sun this ball the raven steals a stun i don't but that's a native story if i want to carve wood spirits up there i'll carve wood spirits i got room down here to carve carve a little viking flower down there so, but the back is part of the story. So here's the thing. Here's the thing. If you can guess what I've carved on the back as part of the story, I'll send you a little wood spirit. I'll carve it live and um, I'll send it to you. I'll send it anywhere in the world. And I'll even, uh, yeah, if you can guess what I've carved on the back as part of the story, I'll leave the story link down below in the description. For all you on computer that watch this on computer, you have to hit the more button and then a whole list shows up. You got to read the story. It's not that long. I posted a picture of it right now, but you're not going to be able to read it. It's too small on the screen. But if you can guess a repeat, I know. If you can guess what I've carved on the back, I'll send you a little Dremel carving wood spirit. Yeah. Because I know that you're not going to be able to guess it. But I'd love to send you a wood spirit, but I know it's not going to happen. But take a guess anyways. Okay. So that's it, everybody. We'll carve these. Uh, I'll take a picture of this, kind of look at it for tonight, see what I want to carve tomorrow, tomorrow, if I carve tomorrow. Hope everybody's doing good, having fun. Ride the waves. Carving fusion. Over and out. Oh, yeah, let's give you a close-up of this. See ya.